This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. I'm Hal Mayer. In an effort to further ecumenical dialogue with the Catholic Church, the Lutheran bishops from Finland made their annual pilgrimage to Rome. They presented Pope Francis with a document to help address remaining differences between the two communions. The document was prepared in Finland over the last three years and was first published at the end of last year. We wish that it might be one of the decisive steps between Lutherans and Catholics on their common pilgrimage towards visible unity of the churches, said Simo Piura, Lutheran bishop of Lapua. The Pope reminded the delegation of the joint celebration of the 500th anniversary of the Reformation last year, which he said strengthened and deepened communion between ecumenical partners. This joint commemoration remains a fruitful opportunity for ecumenism, for it marked not a goal, but rather a point of departure in the ecumenical quest for full visible unity between Christians under the threefold sign of gratitude, repentance, and hope, all three of which are indispensable if we truly desire to heal our memory, he said. And while topics of discussion still exist between the two churches, such as the Pope's role or ordination of women, the Finnish Lutheran bishops express their appreciation for continued dialogue. These Lutherans are part of a process designed to bring the two churches together in full visible unity with the Catholic Church. Nothing could more compromise the principles of the Reformation than this. Full visible unity is about accepting and participating in the Eucharist as a sacrament and accepting the other papal errors along the way. The Lutherans have wondered after. See Revelation 13 verse 3. This is Keep the Faith Ministry News. Thank you for watching. Thank you.